Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss multiplying absolute value variables. Now, when it comes to multiplying mul absolute value variables, since they're both absolute values, it's almost like multiplying them like with parentheses. You can't really do that if one's a non-absolute value necessarily, depending on the scenario, but here are a couple of illustrations to uh, help you out. Now, suppose if you have the absolute value of x times the absolute value of y, since we're talking about distances, after all, it's just like multiplying the two together and having it be multiplying and having the absolute value of x, y with the bars surrounding them. That's actually okay because at the end of the day, they're both going to be positive. Now, if you have something such as absolute value of x minus one times absolute value of x plus one, again, because they're both distances, they're both absolute values, they're both going to be positive. Let me just um, ex ex accelerate, accentuate the bars here a little bit. All you're doing is it's the absolute value of x minus one times x plus one on the inside, and you're still gonna be left with a positive result. All you need to do then is to figure out how to FOIL, and at the end of the day, you have the absolute value of x squared minus one, absolute value. So when you're multiplying absolute value variables, you can combine them just like this. It's just a matter of simplifying later on. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief tutorial on multiplying absolute value variables.